Welcome back to another Katia V5 video. So this will be regarding Tessellate in Shape Sculptor. So this will be the workbench. As we can see within the viewport, I am currently within the wireframe mode. We can also see that the compass will look a little bit differently within this um, visualization mode. So we're going to have those edges connecting um, the directions. So. Currently, I just have a single plane, what is looks to be over here, but actually I have a surface over here. If I will go and just enable the shading with edges, we're going to see that this will define a convex surface, which will be pointed over here, so it will curve outwards. Now, when we want to tessellate something, we are actually going to convert a CAD surface or a CAD model into a triangulated mesh. Usually in software like Katia, you do the opposite. So you add in maybe a 3D scan or a photogrammetry model, and that was created using um, a tessellated mesh. And you're going to have that reconstructed using reverse engineering techniques. But keep in mind that you can also do the reverse. So in this case, we have this surface. I'm going to click on tessellate. We can select the element over here, so the element will be this one. And we can also specify the step parameter. So in this case, I will add one millimeter. I will hit apply, and we're gonna see that the newly tessellated mesh will follow that um, surface. So we have um, also the seg parameter that we can further increase if you want to go a little bit closer to that original mesh, but. Something like this is more than sufficient. In fact, if I will just enable the wireframe mode, we're going to see how dense that mesh will be. So we had that surface and over here, we're going to see a wide variety of triangles and vertices that will be interconnected to define that, that mesh. Now with tessellation, you can also work with different type of uh, elements so it's not always needed to have them surface base for example if i will go over here with impart design and uh, let me just uh, do a rapid uh, extrusion for example i will create a circle and i will have this extruded let's see 20 millimeters should be fine and now if i will go back to the shape sculptor go back to tessellate we're going to see that for the selection, I can specify faces. So for example, I can select the top face of this extrude. If I will hit apply, I will have that tessellated. As you can see, if I try to zoom in and out over here, Katia will do this uh, weird visualization. Since both meshes, the surface mesh and also the tessellated one will be within the same location. Katia doesn't really know what model to display. So we're going to have uh, a part from the solid part and the other from the tess tessellated mesh. You can also um, select multiple elements. So let me just hide that because it's a little bit uh, weird if I'm going to rotate around that. Over here on this surface, it, it doesn't uh, have that uh, problem because everything over here is not uh, flat. But on a flat surface, that tessellated model will be within the exact same location as the initial one. So um, it will have those uh, visualization uh, elements. We can also select, for example, this face. And you're going to see over here, if I will try to rotate, again, since this will be a curved surface and not a planar one, it won't have that problem. But if I will also select the top part, over here, we're going to see how that... Um, a visual pattern will uh, will look so we can do tessellate uh, directly within part design and uh, most importantly we can also use it on imagining shape since imagining shape is based on surface so if i will do a section over here we won't have material over here on the inside while over here for the extrude um, we're gonna have material over there so let me just add those over here and now i will go back to the workbench to shape sculptor and to tessellate this i can select directly the 
um, whole subdivision over here. If I will just click OK, everything will be tesserated over there. And I can do the same um, over here for the cube. For example, we're going to see that everything will be selected. I will click Apply, and we're going to have that tesserated surface. The same problem will occur since uh, these are all planar regions the test aided model will be within the same exact position as the imaginary shape uh, cube so that is how you can use tessellate i hope that you find this video useful i will position a similar video over here to the left i will add this to the katia v5 tips and tricks playlist at the top and i will also add a subscribe button so please consider to, to support if you enjoy this kind of content so that's it. Thanks for watching.